In this video, I want to talk about the creation of, of, of amines, okay? Okay, via acylation and reduction, the reduction mechanism. So the general idea is that I could take an acid chloride. So in this case, I'm going to take a simple acid chloride. And we could add any good nucleophile that, you know, is nitrogen-based. So in this case, I'm going to add dimethylamine. And what it's simply is you're going to do is attack the carbon contained in the carbonyl and displace the chlorine. And so we get to a, a structure that looks something like this. Oh, there's my nitrogen and it's bonded to two um, CH3 groups. Okay, so it's bonded to two CH3 groups. And then the idea is that I take lithium aluminum hydride and what it'll actually do is disappear the carbonyl and just gives you the neutral compound. Okay, so this is the product that we get. Okay, now to name this, this is N N dimethyl. Okay, one ethane amine. One ethanamine. Okay, so this will be one ethanamine. Okay, now what about this one? If we take this compound here and I add this molecule. Okay, this is aniline. If I take this compound and add aniline, well, again, my nitrogen is my nucleophile, so it will attack, displace the chlorine atom, and so we come to a structure that looks like this. Okay, we have nitrogen. We have the the carbonyl carbon that's bonded to a nitrogen that now has one hydrogen, um, and our phenyl group. Okay, and then the idea is that I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride. And the key, the carbonyl um, disappears, okay? So we come to a structure that looks like this. There's our H, and this has our phenyl group, which I'm just gonna abbreviate as pH. <laughs> now, if you notice, in the process, I actually lose a hydrogen, okay? So if you notice, my nitrogen has one hydrogen. It's now bonded to a nitrogen that lost the hydrogen because initially it was positively charged, and so what will actually happen is that it will actually lose the hydrogen and form a lone pair. So what do I mean? Okay, let's show this in a structure. Let's go over the mechanism for this, okay? So if I take an acid chloride, just a simple acid chloride like this, and I add dimethylamine, okay? It has two lone pairs on it. So what it actually do is, is attack the carbonyl and displace, the, car uh, and displace the, the chlorine. So we come to a structure that looks like this. So we have an oxygen that's now bonded to a nitrogen that has the hydrogen and the nitrogen now has two methyl groups on it. Now notice my nitrogen has four bonds, okay? Four bonds, so this is an automatic plus one charge. So what I was explaining earlier is that the bond between the hydrogen, one of the hydrogens actually, in this case, this is only hydrogen, will actually move on the molecule as a lone pair. And so we come to the neutral structure to be like this, okay? So I just want you to see that pattern. I want you to explain how I was getting the product. So again, and it's the same thing in this case. Now, because I have an excess of two hydrogens, uh, one will actually move in, in the form of lone pairs. And so this is why the molecule is not neutral. So I just wanted to explain how I'm getting those products. Mm -hmm. Now, so what happens that we can also make primary, uh, primary uh, uh, we can also make primary uh, um, amines. Okay, we could also make primary amines. And we talked about, um, nitrile chemistry. We also talk about azide chemistry, but we all we need to talk about uh, hydroxylamine chemistry and and, and 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 aldehyde. So if I take a simple aldehyde such as ethanol, okay, and I add um, this compound, this is hydroxylamine, okay. We've already talked about these chemistries, okay. So I'm going to replace my 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 oxygen with my nitrogen and draw my replacing group. And so this is a structure that I get. And it so happens that when I reduce lithium aluminum hydride, this whole structure here will actually go to an NH2. And yeah, so this, this whole um, um, kind of R group here will actually go to an NH2. And so I'll get this. I have my hydrogen. Now I'll get an excess of two hydrogens and I have my NH2, okay? Now obviously we could redraw this as ethylamine, okay? so. That's that's another strong chemistry that we should point out. Okay. And what about this one? What if we take acetophenone? 
if we take acetophenone and add hydroxylamine, okay? Take so acetophenone and add hydroxylamine, well, what do we get? We come to a structure that looks like this. Yeah, we have nitrogen that's now bonded to our OH, and we have this methyl group here, okay? And then when we reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, now we're not going to make a primary amine because we have this R group here. Remember, we said this whole group goes to an NH2, okay? So in this case, we'll actually get a secondary amine. So here's our NH2, and we have our CH3 here. So this, in this case, we'll actually get a, a secondary amine. Okay, so this chemistry, hydroxylamine, ketones, and aldehydes reduced with lithium aluminum hydride also works. Okay, so if I take an ethanol again, and maybe I could add um, methylamine. Yeah, if I add methylamine, I'll actually get this structure. Yeah, I actually get this structure. Now, when I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, yeah, so when I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, uh, again, this whole group, uh, um, in this case, when we reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, we're not just going to get the NH2 now because we have this R group here, okay? So the idea is we're actually going to gain a hydrogen, okay? So we're going to form a single bond, gain a hydrogen, and we still have our CH3 group here. Okay, so when we reduce, and in, in, this, in this sort of case, when we reduce with lithium, uh, when we reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, um, we don't get this this NH2 group here. This only happens with, with hydroxylamine. But whenever we deal with uh, an, an ethylamine or dimethylamine, et cetera, et cetera, we got to be careful. And so actually we'll gain, two, we'll gain hydrogen here. Okay, so you can notice in this case, because we have the R group, we actually lose one of the bonds and we, we gain a hydrogen on both sides of the bonds. Okay, so you can see we get a hydrogen on both sides of the bonds. And if I want to redraw this, this is actually looks something like this. We have our nitrogen that has our hydrogen and we have our CH3 group here. Okay. And so let's look at another one like this just to bring home the point. So if I take acetophenone, if I take acetophenone and add ethylamine, okay. We already talked about the chemistry we're gonna get, so we're just gonna replace that nitrogen with that with oxygen with our double bond with, with the nitrogen and lose two hydrogens. So we still have our CH three, we still have our double bond. This now has a nitrogen, we lose two hydrogens, so we just have this ethyl group here. Okay. Now when I reduce lithium aluminum hydride, do this one yourself. Whatever you're gonna get. Well, again, because we have this R group here, we're actually gonna lose one of the bonds and gain two hydrogens on both sides. So if I'm looking at the pattern, if that pattern is true, when I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, I get my CH3. I have one bond that's bonded to the nitrogen. I still have my R group, and now I have a hydrogen, and there's the slobimlone hydrogen that we gained here. Okay. And so this is a way of creating uh, secondary amines again. Okay. So so again, be very careful. Now, what if we take uh, acetone and I add uh, dimethylamine? CH3, CH3. There's my hydrogen, there's my nucleophile. Okay. What will I get? Well, now I'll actually get uh, a double bonded compound to two nitrogens, uh, to, to the two CH3 groups. Okay. Now nitrogen, we know nitrogen with four bonds it automatically has a plus charge. So notice the difference, notice the difference. I can't lose two hydrogens in this case. So I'll actually get the nitrogen compound that, that will get fully four bonds. I will lose the hydrogens. And then when I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride, I'll actually just get uh, this structure. Okay. So I'll actually just get this structure when I reduce with lithium aluminum hydride. So I lose my hydrogen, um, and then I and and then I, I, I lost the, the plus charge. Um, I lost the plus charge. I lose a bond, and and and, and I gain a hydrogen. So uh, whenever we have you know some sort of a ketone, we add. Um, some sort of molecule like um, dimethylamine where there's not an excess of two hydrogens to lose, then we're actually gonna get the full four bonds 
to the carbon so we're gonna keep the double on and then when we reduce we just lose lose one of the bonds and, and, and we gain a hydrogen